Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week we explore a district heating system on the University of British Columbia campus that's a bit like low carbon Lego. You can keep adding on different systems as you expand it. UBC's district heating scheme was originally steam based and it's from the turn of the last century. It has 14 kilometers worth of pipe and heats 14 million square feet. Nancy Knight is Associate Vice President of Planning at the University of British Columbia. She leads a team that plans and manages campus land use and development. As we have um, uh, become more concerned about GHG emissions and just general efficiency as well, uh, more and more people are converting their steam-based uh, district energy systems to hot water. And so not only do you save money in GHGs, there's another big advantage to hot water, which is it allows you to recover uh, low carbon energy from a lot of different sources. So geothermal, uh, solar thermal, waste heat from the tops of buildings. Those can be gathered and put into the, the uh, hot water uh, loop at any point along the loop. Whereas if you're trying to put that into a steam system, it would just be rejected because it's too low energy. So where the old steam system was an inflexible monolith, the new lower temperature hot water system is like a Lego base that you can add any number of other low carbon pieces to. One of the first pieces of Lego that UBC has added is a biomass boiler. The biomass boiler in the UBC Bioenergy Research and Demonstration Facility uses wood chips and it provides 25% of the base heating energy for the campus. Fits on two city lots. It takes two trucks a day of wood waste and it heats about 2,000 homes. So it's a really great uh, way to think about the, the kind of small plants that we actually now can build that can slip into a neighborhood very easily. It's not an intrusive technology at all. In addition to the biomass boiler, UBC has already started integrating waste heat, solar thermal heat, and geothermal heat into the system from the neighboring Center for Interactive Research on Sustainability. This Lego-like flexibility is the key for the future. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. This system will save tons of greenhouse gas emissions. So our first phase is to get 33% reduction from our 2007 GHG emissions by 2015. That's not very far away. We have three projects that are doing that for us. One is this biomass plant, which is about 12%. The other is the steam to hot water conversion, which is about 20 And the final piece is actually a tune-up program on all our buildings to make sure they're running at top uh, condition. And we're expecting around 10% reductions from that. So it adds up to actually more than 33, and we're hoping we get it all, but our next big target is 67% reduction from 2007 by 2020. UBC hopes to save 33% on greenhouse gas emissions by 2015 with biomass, low temperature heating, and efficiencies. But to get to 67%, the next big leap, they will focus on harvesting waste heat from existing buildings. So we're starting to think, what are the next low carbon energy sources that we can tap to get those. And the big one we're looking at right now is a major heat recovery initiative off the cooling towers of one of our main research enterprises on campus. The biomass boiler in the Bioenergy Research and Demonstration Facility not only provides a quarter of the baseline heat for the district heating system, but it also generates electricity. It gasifies the woody biomass and burns the gas in a boiler to produce both power and heat. To find out more about this district heating system, to see our photo galleries, and check out our blog post, head on down to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thanks for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.